In this lesson, I want to talk about the multipass for the light. For example, if you insert a light, I want to explain it is multi separate passes. If you want, it's very simple. It does not change anything, but if you activate it and if you want to <coughs> create shadow heart, if you want to export these lights to Nuke, After Effects, Photoshop, or anything, that you have to active the separate passes. But its default is export to compositing. For better exporting that, you have to activate it. <clears throat> it's exported as individual lights. Very important. But what is passes? It's very simple. If you render something in your scene, we have a diffuse light, it means main light. We have a specular, these lights, highlights are specular, and the shadows. We are going to the <coughs> settings, and we have to, we have, I will be explaining them, don't worry, but we have a multipass here. You can right click add a multipass here or click from here. I need, uh, I need ambient light. Need specular no no ambient no you can delete it from here but it does not delete from here diffuse whole light specular and shadow it means if you render they will be rendered also so you can come to picture viewer and now we render it here you can control a and delete everything and render to picture viewer again. Nice. <clears throat> let's 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 zoom here to better see that. Another render. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, this is our render, and I will be explaining the picture viewer. Don't worry. But you can go in layer. As you can see, the shadow, the specular, and the diffuse are rendered separately. For seeing that, you have to click on a single pass. If you click on the shadow, and as you can see, just shadow showing to you. And then you can, uh, from here, you can change the, uh, you have to go to the uh, image. And as you can see, you can, uh, in the multipass, you have to select a multipass. And then here you can change the intensity of your shadow individually or in intensity of the specular here as you can see these are specular <clears throat> for seeing the whole image if you click on them it does not change but if you want to click on them and show them you have to these are passes okay you have to go in a single pass and as you can see these are specular these highlights are specular diffuse it means whole lighting scene for changing the power of them, you can select them and change the diffuse or lighting and darkening the light or change the shadow density here. So play with the image, single pass and multipass here. If you go to the image, you can, uh, you go to the multipass here, you can turn it on or off. For editing them, you have to go to the multipass. It means it's calculate them multi to each other specular diffuse and as you can see it's interesting so you can do these works on your destination software like after effects nuke or photoshop if you want so the passes are very very important for who are doing the professional works for vfx so don't forget to Take the separate passes for your lights to render them individually. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.